Now, most of you have these colloquially known alarm batteries around your home. Yes, you find them in your alarm system, your gate motors, some garage doors and electric fences. Now, they're there to provide backup power in the event of an unexpected short-term power loss. These are traditionally lead acid 12 volt 7 amp hour batteries. And being lead acid, like the battery in our cars, they have a limited lifespan and suddenly stop holding charge. But why does my gate and alarm battery not even last a year? First, we need to understand that this lead acid backup battery has a design life of around 150 charge cycles and was never intended for the regular power outages we're currently experiencing with load shedding. So what is a charge cycle? Now in terms of a lead acid battery, a charge cycle happens each time the battery drops below 100% and is fully charged again. So if the battery drops to 80% and is then recharged fully, that's one charge cycle. So should you have load shedding a conservative two times a day? That's two charge cycles in one day. In simple maths, two times a day, seven days a week, is 14 charge cycles a week, works out to about 60 odd charge cycles per month. Now 60 cycles into the design life of 150 cycles gives you two and a half months. Now from this point onwards, the battery will last less and less. Lead acid batteries, depending on the depth of discharge, can also need up to 12 hours to fully charge, meaning often they're not charged properly before the next load shedding, which compounds the problem further. Lead acid batteries should never be discharged below 50% state of charge. Discharging below 50% damages the battery. However, there is a solution. Lithium-ion batteries such as this one from Lalela. Lithium-ion technologies are used in most portable devices that we charge on a daily basis. Phones, laptops, and unlike lead acid, lithium-ion has a depth of discharge of up to 70, sometimes even 80%, giving you more usable power, and it also charges faster. Lithium-ion phosphate, or LIFE PO4, also has a design life of over 2,000 charge cycles. And a charge cycle in terms of lithium-ion happens when all the battery's power has been cumulatively used, which does not necessarily mean in a single charge. For example, you could use half your charge in one day, recharge it fully, and if you did the same thing the next day, it would count as one charge cycle and not two. So if compared to the lead acid battery calculation, where again you use 20% battery per load shed, it works out to about 12 charge cycles per month, which over the design life of 2,000 cycles is about 13 years. This lithium-ion battery from Lalela has the exact same form factor as the lead acid battery, so there's no modifications needed to install this, and it's an exact swap out to your existing battery. Now I'm using a gate motor battery swap here as an example, but this battery would also work on your alarm system at home. Start by ensuring that the power to your, in this case, gate motor is switched off at the DB board. Open the housing and unplug the power supply cables from the battery, starting with the negative terminal. Negative is usually black and positive is usually red. Remove the negative first and replace the battery with your new Lalela lithium iron. Then reconnect the positive first, followed by the negative. Turn your power supply back on and you're done. The same principle applies for all brands of gate motors, alarm systems, etc. Now we can take this much newer technology, let it work in the background and know that not only does it charge faster, but it has more charge cycles, it's going to last longer. Lalela have a wide range of products from Wi-Fi backup systems, laptop power banks and even inverters, all of which are available at Builders, either in-store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.